Hello my crafty friends, this is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I have another Silhouette Studio tutorial for you and we are going to go over how to curve text to a line just like it's done here. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with a blank screen and I am in the basic edition or the standard edition of Silhouette Studio just to show you that this works in um, every edition that there is. So you can do this in that standard edition as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over to my page setup and click on grid and I'm going to hit show grid. And I'm doing this just so that I can uh, make my line uh, relatively a perfect um, curve here. So I'm going to come over to my line segment tool and um, I'm sure we're mostly familiar with this draw a line. And then you've got this draw a polygon. And the one we're going to use is draw a curved shape. So we're going to click on that one. And then I'm going to come over to my grid and I'm using, so I'm using my mouse and I'm just going to tap right here. And then I'm going to come over one, two, three, and I'm going to come down one. And I'm going to tap there. And then I'm going to go up one, two and I'm going to go over another three and I'm going to tap there and then I'm going to come back down one two and I'm going to go over three tap again and now I'm going to come back to the baseline so I'm going to come up one two over three at the baseline and I'm going to click and now I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to release uh, that action so the way I've got it set now, this is um, a relatively perfect curved line here where each uh, one, this is spaced one, two, three. This one is spaced one, two, three. This is my baseline here. And um, just kind of making it look like a relatively nice curve here. Uh, if you don't like the way yours turn out, you can always go and click on these and you can pull them a little bit and I can come in here and I can make all of my tails relatively straight as well. Let's do that. The one is nice and straight. This one can use a little straightening. So again, I'm just clicking and dragging on these tails to straighten those out a little bit more as well. And I'm going to put my little anchor point right there on the edge. And then this one too, I can kind of bring it up here and put it straight on that edge. And I'm going to take this tail and bring it back in. So I like the way that that one looks. Now what I'm going to do is grab my text tool and we're just going to type. And I'm just going to type out what I want up here and I'm going to say, hello, crafty friends. And then I can go ahead and let's get this put in whatever font you want and let's get it all set up that way. So I'm going to come over here to my font. I'm going to use this vanilla. Uh, twilight let's I like this vanilla cream and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and uh, let's use this I like that pretty color there okay I like the way that looks it looks good so now I'm do you find this helpful make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future silhouette studio tutorials now let's jump back in where we left off I'm gonna double tap so I'm back to the editing of text and you've got this um, circle with some arrows in it. I'm going to click on that and drag that down to my line. And you see as soon as you do that, it brings the words to the line. So I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. And then you've got this little um, piece here, the slider, and that will, you can see you can slide it up above the line, you can put it the line through it, you can have your words below the line. So you've got that there as well and I'm going to be kind of um, in the middle of the line per se. And then other things you can do here, you know, the further you slide this along, you can, um, and I've come off, so when you come off it'll go back to normal. You can pull that on and then you can slide it where you want it. So if I put it there, the other things you can do with your textile panel here is you can adjust your character spacing. So you see if I adjust that character spacing, it's going to space out my letters a little bit more or I can space them really scrunched up. 
So I like to kind of space them out a little bit more. Uh, it looks nicer as well if you're not using a really scripty font. So if I use like this space dream font instead. So let's go ahead and select. I'm just um, click and dragging over all the words. And now I can pick a different font. Um, I've got this one here. That one actually looks a little better. This is the spirit. I think I like the way that looks better. And then again, I can click on it. And then I can do my character spacing and I can space that out a little bit more as well. And I think that looks good. Let's bring this over a little bit more. And then I'm actually going to increase the size of my font to 100. Oop, we got to get everything. Let's click off, click back on. Now 100. And you see how that makes a difference as well. So I can double tap again. I can pull my text back over and I like that right there. So once you get it to a point that you like it, I can go ahead and turn my grid off. Sometimes I find the grid to be a little, um, it kind of gets in the way a little bit more than anything. But now that I've got it where I like it, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and you can see I've got the selection box around my font and I'm going to uh, right click on my mouse and I'm going to come down to convert to path. And now what that means is now my words are going to stay like this and they are no longer editable. Meaning if I wanted to go back and make some changes, I would either have to come do the undo button to um, undo the, uh, the path or I would have to start over and the path is now editable again. So I could do this again and I could come and throw some more text on here and I can say hello. And again, I can double tap. I can pull that back up to the same line. And if I like it right there, you know, you can make changes again. Um, but then when you're all done, if you don't want that line, you just have to click and you can delete and then you've got your words like this and then you can do whatever else you need with it. So that is how you can type on a curved line.